There's no crying over spilt milk. We all must have heard this. Hello and welcome guys to my channel. From ages unknown, we know that milk has been named as a complete food because it's magnificent consistency of nutrients or the nutritional balance of milk has been well balanced and named as complete food but within a couple of years we have suddenly found there's a lot of uh, discussions on milk let's know why when a small child after his birth the only food that he feeds on is on his mother's milk uh, about 8,000 years ago, in Turkey, when humans started milking newly domesticated animals like sheep, goat, uh, cow, and buffaloes, mutation near the gene that produces the enzyme lactose started becoming frequent. Around the same time, lactose intolerance became known. People with lactose intolerance develop bloating, gas and diarrhea from 20 minutes to within one hour after consumption of milk and milk products. This condition is also known as lactose malabsorption. Now, did you know cows are pumped with loads of antibiotics? Yes, you heard me right. These antibiotics helps the cow to keep on milking and keep them alive. When humans are fed on such milk, apart from getting infected, humans' capacity towards antibiotics starts reducing. Or I should say there's an inefficiency in the effectiveness of antibiotics in the human body. Secondly, did you know animal milk actually robs us of our calcium? In our bones. Yes, you heard me right, it does. Animal proteins produce acids in our body while breaking down. And to flush out these acids, calcium is one of the best neutralizers. So the milk we drink, the calcium is taken from the milk we drink and also from our own stores of the body. So now you see how each glass of milk leaches out the calcium from our bones. Many studies have also shown a greater significance of our acne and prostate cancer related to milk and dairy. High amount of consumption of cheese is also related to cholesterol. Besides human, no other species drinks milk beyond their natural age of weaning or drink milk of any other species. So you see the nutritional availability or the nutritional uh, richness of cow's milk is only sufficient for a calf and a human milk is sufficient for a human infant. Let's try to replace animal milk to vegan milk or plant-based milk like soya milk or almond milk and try and stay fitter and make the animals of our community healthier too. If you like my information, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.